Somebody hands a fucking, somebody lights a big fat joint, hands it on stage, somebody passes it to somebody else that plays percussion in the band, I'm not going to mention any names, Uh huh. <laughs> and then you hear a, a voice going, put that out. Put that out. <laughs> it sounded like God coming over the loudspeaker. Where? Put that out. In the club. In the club. You guys were on stage. Somebody let a f- big fatty. Uh, yeah, that happens all the time. Hand it back about on stage. Just... Yeah. And then, and then, I know. And then, and then it, then it oh, was, yeah, yeah. It was taken the... away from stage. It was taken away from the stage. And yeah. you were like, hey, man, y'all, y'all, eh, y'all settle down. Better, t- better, better fucking put that shit out. And yeah, then, all right. Well, and we wasn't in California or Colorado. That's right. It wasn't a a, a legal hey. place. And I'm like, you know, I, I, where was it? Florida? Or no, Kentucky? no, it's just Kentucky. A, a Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, 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 it was like, yeah, that shit wasn't ain't cool. cool as shit. It. Oh, like, no, 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 no. Was not cool. Up if you can't was blaze not cool. up. No, I never said. I, hey, I was standing over there on the side. No, I ain't pictures. gonna say don't sneak around a building or go outside. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Or do hey, but. You know, come on, man. You don't, you don't damn uh, fire up right there. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, it's, it's illegal. Everything's not good about it here. All right, Think but bust a damn J, man. But then what happened was, okay, got off on, you got it off stage, and then going, you're getting ready to go into. Then you then you stop for a joke. You stop for a joke, and you tell your joke. You know, but it uh, pss, pss, yeah. You know, you get your little laugh, and then <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you get your joke in. You get your joke in, and then what? And then the the manager came up, and he was standing right beside me at that point. He comes up because I was standing on the side taking pictures, and he comes up beside me because the whole weed weed uh. Bull, debacle. Oh, the whole marijuana. So you debacle. were in trouble. I wasn't in trouble. I wasn't smoking any weed. I was standing. Well, I was standing on the side taking pictures. Uh huh. Okay. Did you get pics of the weed? <laughs> I did get a Are picture you an of FBI weed. agent? Are you? Is this? Is <laughs> I did get a picture of weed. <laughs> this has all been staged as a uh as an FBI investigation, and now I'm done. Ooh. Yeah, you're gonna be like, people are gonna rush in. Chris Hansen. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you bring that? What do you have? A six pack? Huh? Oh, six pack. And what's that? I smell yeah. weed. Yeah, you got weed right there. Yeah, so, uh huh. What do you got and, there? And, and so the weed went off the stage. You know, the, the the loudspeaker dude quit. I guess it was the sound guy who was telling everybody. And so the, the manager comes up beside me, and he's looking on stage. And so you're like, oh, okay, I got the weed off stage. And I don't know if you're feeling a little bit nervous or whatever, but and then you told you, you started telling jokes. And uh, and then you told that joke, and he looked at me in disgust. <laughs> what? <laughs> What the guy did? <laughs> yeah, the manager. He looked at me in disgust. It was so fucking funny. I he thought hated I was weed fall out. and the joke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like wrong crowd. Uh, when you when you tell the punchline, he looked at me and he went, "What the fuck?" He was like, "It's funny." Yeah, fuck it. He was like, "Fuck this guy," and, he, and then he walked off. <laughs> and I was like, "It's funny." And, you know, oh, what's the punchline? Hold on. Just tell me the punchline. Give him the punchline. You'll see. Fucking give everybody the punchline. It's not 12 inches, but it smells like a foot. <laughs> That's fucking horrible. That's great. It's I've horrible. I've seen it online. Hey, and just welcome, welcome, it. welcome to WRBN Podcast. I'm Brad. 
And I'm Danny Boone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we know. We, we know. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, we, we know. know. <laughs> we what? love Danny Boone. Oh. That's why we're here. I didn't know no, I'm just saying that's why I'm here. I'm just saying no. I'm just kidding. Or something like, oh, no, we know. yes, we know. Yeah, Woo! Okay. No, it's more like a celebration. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, show three. We're at high school. We're at high school for you. So Ooh, the best years of your life. Well, what are you saying? Well, uh, ninth well, yeah. grade. Uh, ninth grade, I met Shiv. We damn uh, hit it off as friends. And then uh, I went into... Ninth grade, he met Shiv. That's mm-hmm. great. And we... Man, you guys have been hitting it since way back. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't say hitting it since well, way back. Well, I mean, hitting it off. Well, come on, man. <laughs> I knew you would turn that around. Why do you... Hitting it off... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, you've been hitting that from way back, hey. baby. Gosh, just going to hit this and be pissed at me. Uh, I meant to say hitting it off, okay? Let's get straight. Jeez. <laughs> you know, uh, he's just yeah. over here. Yeah. Y'all been jerking the monkey pole for them <laughs> eons. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what is that you uh, The monkey pole. What the hell? I don't know. It's just like you had to say uh, something. You, you made up your own word right up. there, just like anyway. you always do. He makes up his own words. It's not even right. Yeah. Okay, so let's <laughs> get. <laughs> but what I'm saying yeah. is. Uh... Saturday, April 22nd, rehab at the Branch House Tavern at 7 o'clock, Flowery Branch, Georgia. Come get it. Saturday, April the 29th, rehab at the Granada Theater at 7 p.m., Minneapolis, Minnesota. Come get you song. Well, since ninth grade. You were since ninth grade. I've known shifts since ninth grade. That's awesome. I went into ninth grade and, you know. Went into uh, high school, which was 10th, 11th, 12th. and um, Different school? Northside High School. Northside. Yes. That's where I went and graduated from eventually. And <laughs> that's where everything happened in Northside. Uh, Northside and Warner Robins were the only two schools. Warner Robins High School and Northside of Warner Robins High School. And uh, rivalries, I guess? Of Huge for years. People have, uh, back then, because they were only two, and Valdosta was huge back then in football. Now, we're talking football. Valdosta? Valdosta. Valdosta. Yeah. Home of Doc Holiday. Home um, of Doc Holiday. But back then, people almost got killed over uh those fo- I remember one guy got dr- dragged behind a truck behind uh, through Northside High School's parking lot over that game. Uh, what? Yeah. I, my parents almost split up. There's a whole uh, article about, because my mom went to Northside, my dad went to one of Robbins. And I played uh, at Northside. And there's this whole oh. big article about how she used to, I mean, are you talking about like this happened in the sixties? No, when, you're, in when the your 60s, parents were kids. I played football at Northside. No, no, no. I, I, you you made it sound like it happened when your parents were were in were going to school. This it, happened when you were going well, to school. Back to Northside and Warner Robins. I mean, like nineteen eighty two. More than that shit happened. What? Nineteen eighty two. This shit happened. No, this happened in uh, eighty five. Like, um, well, no, no, no. What? I'm like, like in their twenties. And, you know, you're 20 years old. You went to your school, and in your 20s, you're coming out, you get married, have kids, and yeah. now the rivalry in town, though. I'm telling you, man, 40,000 people at a What year did this happen? Hang at on. A motherfucking the motherfucking game for high school. 40,000 people? What? And this is when the dragging happened? No, the dragon happened in like 76. Okay, okay. That's what I was asking. That's what I was talking about. But I'm saying that was in, uh, how serious it is. Oh, it's got, damn. I've seen people. 40,000 people at a game at yeah. a robbery. 
And then at That's Northside, tough. they used to wa- ra- wave this rebel flag at Warner Robins. You know, the <laughs> great. Pit. Yeah. And, um, boy, <laughs> you can't do that shit around Northside. Uh, man, I seen Gerald McCollum. Uh, this is in the 80s, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, right. of course. Uh, a convertible or truck or something full of people came by rolling behind the gym. With a, on the day of the game, waving a rebel flag, Jerry McCollum come across the park lot, timed it up, Jim. dove in the car, took that shit, broke that shit, and uh, it was it was real shit back then, man. Northside Warner Robins, Warner Robins history. Mm. Mm. You don't want none of it. I got that some shit history. sounds crazy. I got some history on them hoes. So, big rivalry. You played football. Yes. All right. Still, are we still playing the same same positions as we did when uh, we were yeah, younger? Yeah, I played defensive back. You're getting bigger? In, You're still the no. same size? I weighed about 135. Okay. And still, the still, still skinny. Skinny. Yeah, 155. Okay. And, uh... And since I had come from Central Fellowship and didn't play football in the ninth grade because I came yeah. into that. So what I came into was um, a whole lot of kids that had been in school together running the same offenses and the same type of thing for years. And I had no idea what was going on. And um, we didn't have we didn't train and it wasn't as big a thing at the private school. So when I came in, I was lost to my first, like as far as just in football. And, um, yeah, I got knocked around and they were a lot bigger and a lot more athletic. They kicked they your were ass. In private school. They kicked your ass. Oh my God. Dude. Yeah. It was terrible. And I had to, you it's know, terrible. You, I had to, I agree. Yeah, I know. I know, I know what you mean. But I stayed and stuck it out. I was like, I know I'm good at this. I just haven't. I don't know anything. You know what I mean? So, so how long did you play football? I didn't know what cover years? one was. What a sky and a cloud and uh, fucking. It, we all we did was cover your man, man to man yeah. at private school, and you know, at the time, shit wasn't advanced. We just had a football team. Yeah. You know, so, play, so you play basketball too? Just yeah. you were all all star, right? No, jeez, what is this? No, no I was mediocre <laughs> no, at all of like, them. Sounds like you were but decent at I all was of them. Good enough, yeah, yeah, yeah. good enough to you be at all. Mean? So you played baseball through the uh, you stopped at tenth grade. Is that what's going on? Or you just keep going to your tenth grade? Well, what happened? Hamstring. <laughs> Pull the hamstring. No, we had a. I played in tenth grade. And I was always a hustler, like, and I don't mean like street hustler. I mean like uh, I was 180% at all. I'll dive for shit that there's no reason to die. I'll do that on the pavement. You know what I mean? If we're playing Nerf ball in the street. I I'm just, with you. I'm diving for it. I was I was always, all in. since I was young, all in. Uh, you know, you ain't. You got to give a hundred ten percent. Blah blah blah. So, um, and I can't remember the question because it's got off of that tangent. Baseball. Baseball. We were talking about baseball, um, and I do believe, and you, and I'm trying to figure out what, how long you played, and and I dodged the is question. That all we was talking about, and I went into that. I, I don't. I don't. I think you took me off on this little thing and I started well, following you instead of fucking paying attention when I was well, doing I'm like a I had a dog point and I squirrel. missed and I had a point <laughs> <laughs> and the, uh, I lost it in translation rehabtheband.com where you can get all of your news tour information music videos in our store where you can get all of your cool rehab merch that's rehabtheband.com let's talk about music that 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 was at the time because this is a big deal 
uh, when you tra- when you when you got over there, and let's talk about that as far as music goes because it uh, seems like that your 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 whole music thing world opened up when you did go over to a different school. Yeah, well, Run and, DMC, and not, well, Beastie yeah, Boys, yeah, all this other stuff started and, influencing you, did it not? Yeah, well, had to. And uh, you know, back in elementary school, I remember, you know, hearing. Um, Sugar Hill Gang and all that, and you know, but I was always, I guess, a rhythmic kid. My grandmother was Puerto Rican, and by the time, and, and even all, a lot of the music that she listened to was real rhythmic, like uh, Phil Harris and um, uh, a lot of Spanish music, which I didn't understand, but it was rhythmic, like you know, if you know what I mean, and um. It was a lot of percussion. Yeah. And a lot of four four uh-huh. right like you know, like uh eighteen fourteen we took a little trip. A Roma Colonel Jackson down the body, Mr. Sip, or whatever, you know. And uh so oh now you know what we talked about through junior high. Yeah. And then when I by the time I got to high school, um I had ran into Rockbox from Run DMC, and uh, John Bailey hooked me up with that. That, and, uh, you know, and then came Midnight Star, and... Uh, Midnight Star. Yeah, and uh, Ready for the World, and, you know, but then... In, I've heard you say Midnight Star, but... Ninth grade, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, I mean, uh, what do you... Uh, New edition had me messed up, and uh, me and in ninth grade, me and Tommy Hall and Chris Hall, um, Chris Hall, Tommy Hall, yeah, and Charlie Rathbun, Charlie Rathbun, Thank and you. uh, man, we was yeah. all about that, and hey, little Walter, and uh, and you know, Grandmaster Flash, Furious Five. Yeah. Uh, that was the. I, you know, it's hard to. I have to go in and plug in holes. So once we start getting but, that, and we, yeah. I know you're talking about high school, but I'm trying to. In no, my that's mind, fine. That's go fine. We fill in the blank so you get the whole picture. Yeah, when you do do that, when you do that, it's fine. Okay. That, that's what we're looking for. You know okay. what I mean? I I just that and that brings everybody else up to date on this too. You know, uh, I ain't thinking about all that shit all the time. No, but it but it comes back to you. I, I understand. You know what I mean? Yeah. I go into a room and I can't remember what the fuck I was going in there for. So, you know, that's where I'm at. I understand. <laughs> it's a, uh, so all that music, uh, the rap. So the we got, rap. It, we got it once we got in tenth grade, and um, I mean, you know, in the process of going from ninth to tenth, and um. What about the first time you rapped? Was when you were 15 years old, am I correct? Northside. Yeah, um, but it was probably with Chris and Tommy Hall. Um, the Halls? Right before. Again. Yeah, but they were. Are they still around? I don't know where they're at. I ain't seen them. And, uh, but Maybe they'll to hear spend this. Spent a lot of time. And Colin Brown. I used to spend a lot Colin of time. Colin Brown. At their, in their neighborhood. I lived in a trailer out here, and they lived in a neighborhood around the corner. And I used to ride my bike around there and hang out with them and do a lot of stuff. But uh, we'd listen to, you know, but, all kind of stuff. You know what I mean? And not rock. You guys. That's the first time I recorded myself was over at their house. Oh, and really? I t- and I sang Hotel California. Damn. Yeah. What, did, what did you do? Just play the song and just sing over it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A tape okay. record. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. God. I love tapes. I love cassettes. I miss those days. I like aspects of them. I like the way they sound to sample and stuff like that. You know, at certain times. Yeah. I love four tracks, cassette four tracks. That's what I cool. love. That shit was cool. Like cool. Fucking cool. Two tracks. Two tracks. How about that? How about that? Two I don't tracks. Even need tracks. Yeah, you're off the tracks, is what you are. Your arms are full of tracks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Uh-huh. Uh, finally. Now what? Now what? What are you going to do now? Huh? <laughs> hey, it's time for Rehab's unreleased track of the week. Uh-huh. This week it is Next Hangover. Let's do this. You're making me look like a prick, you know. Now you give me your sources or we're going to have to kick ass and take some names in. If you had asked me before, I might have could. I'm tore up now. Ow! Jumped and said, whoa, Grandma Jamie said, damn it, one fool get mind blown. Why we all here, sip suds and have fun, or you might end up on the wrong end of a smoking gun. It's, it's like all like, that stuff. Yeah. It's man, just like, well, uh, hey, man. Uh, y'all, please subscribe and like the podcast on whatever platform you're listening to. And Danny, follow us on all the socials. And come check out our Patreon. And we're going to check you next time. Swell. <laughs> I don't know what all that meant, but I don't know. Get out of here.